created. And uh, thank you also to all the Vaishnavas. Can we make a seat here for Aranya Maharaj? Is it possible? Yeah. So we have a we have a question. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I just want to personally thank Srila Gurudev for uh, understanding my hard-hearted nature. He gave me a service uh, to associate with his uh, darling, darling daughters and wonderful sons, who even the hardest rock-like heart would melt with in their association. And I feel so grateful that I had this opportunity to serve his children and also to associate with the wonderful teachers who he's brought to New Braj to help in this school. Um, for me, it's, I'd be walking the streets in New York uh, like a madman without this service because I have no good qualities or anything in Gurudev. Knowing my nature has saved me, giving me this wonderful opportunity. So I'm so grateful to you. If, if it's all right with you, Gurudev, I would like to introduce each of the teachers and students to you. They made little flower art offerings to you, and I'll do it very briefly, and then we're very anxious to hear from you. First, as far as the teachers go, uh, this year uh, we were got trying to get by, and it was a struggle in so many ways, but each year seems to be progressive. And this year, by the arrangement of Guru and Krishna, Sachinan Prabhu has come. And he's brought, uh, he's brought a, commitment, a commitment to excellence and qualification in teaching that was very helpful to our school. And he's also developed this very beautiful program for teaching the children the word-to-word -word meanings of all the bhajans. So we'd like to thank Sachinan for doing that. He has a heart flower for you. We have 22 students now, and uh, of course, four teachers. Yes. Students. More are coming. Too. Also, I want to thank uh, Nichimanjari Didi. Can you can you come up, Nichim? Make room. Everybody, sit down now. Good day, please. She is Nitya Didi. She has been taking care of your darling daughters for so many years now, hardly receiving anything, just a desire to please you and serve you. And she does such a wonderful job with them. <laughs> Nitya Manjari Ki. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Chincha Didi, she is taking care of your little ones and also is the responsible for all these art projects that you see that we do, these little flowers and things like that. She's such an occupant for any school to have such a soft-hearted devotee. We're very happy to have her. Ms. Chinta Didi Ki. And Govinda Rupini, the wife of Banki Bihari Prabhu. She comes in every day, helps uh, not only with her own son, Keshava Prabhu, but also with the teaching of some of the other children, pitches in wherever it's needed. She's been a great asset to the school this year. Govinda Rupini Didi. And uh, we can't avoid mentioning Nilachala Didi. She's always in the background uh, dealing with all the administrative issues, <laughs> arranging for the books, so much help and support she's given the entire year and we're, we're very fortunate that she's involved with the school. Nilachala Didi <laughs> Ki! <laughs> Private education. <laughs> Also tell about oh, Govindu, uh, Govindini is uh, the only reason that your male teacher standing in front of you is able to function effectively in the school. Always on my case, always inspiring me in Krishna consciousness, and <laughs> keeping me on the ball at every moment. <laughs> I am indeed very fortunate to have her uh, association all these years, more than I can even say. And uh, a little unknown uh, person, he's he, unknown at least to, to everyone else, but you know him, Guru Dev. Madan Prabhu is always helping with maintenance, things that need to be fixed, always doing little things to help keep the school going. He's also known as Nanda Gopal's brother, and his two sons are in the school, but he's also in his own right. Madan Prabhu Ki. <laughs> Father of Vishwa. And now I'd like to introduce all the children, and I may, if I go out of order. Nigun is always helping in so many ways, yes. 
he's he's helping uh, financially and helping with emotional support and and inspiration in so many ways. <laughs> All the parents are always uh, working with us, encouraging us, and get involved in the school. We do a Hari Nam now once a month in Visalia, where we distribute books. All the kids come, and now the parents are coming as well. And it's, uh, it's, we've continued to do it one month, and we hope to increase. And this year, we're talking uh, about doing some uh, children's bhajan group and theater group, and going out and doing theater and drama and distributing your books in that way with the children. So with your blessings, it will, will be some, a successful program. I'm going to start with the younger children, and if I go out of order, please forgive me. But first I want to introduce Keshava Prabhu. Stand up and offer your flower to Gurudev. Last year you, you instructed him to come to the school and be very serious. And he is definitely the most improved student in the entire school this year. He's worked very hard and controlled his mind and senses. And he's the son of Banki Bihari Prabhu and Govinda Rupini. Keshava Prabhu Ji! And Prem Pradeep. Prem Pradeep is the son of Gopanandini. <laughs> Fortunately for him. <laughs> and uh, he's a very good boy, a very good student. He loves his Gurudev. And he's always easy to teach and easy to take care of. Very nice to buddy. Prem Pradeep Prabhu. And Govinda Snell. You have your flower? Govinda Snell. Not only does she have the largest dimples in the school, <laughs> but she's also very sweet and a very, very good student. Very good student. Very nice devotee. Govinda Snellki. <laughs> and correct me if I'm, if I'm skipping anyone as we go along here. Then uh, Chaitanya Dasi, who's already standing, do you have your flower? She... Is this your flower? Here it is. She's, she's, uh, her parents are disciples of Swami, Swamiji, and she's been coming to the school for a year, always listening very carefully to the morning program, learning the word for word verses that Sachi Nanda Prabhu has been teaching, and she's very inspired and grateful to be in your school, and we're very happy to have her. Chaitanya Dasi Ki! And also, um, Govinda Jones. She has. <laughs> she has a capacity to learn shlokas and verses that is so amazing, so much Sukriti in that area. She can memorize a verse like this, and she's, she's, she's a delight to have in the school, always playful and lighthearted. Gurinder Jones, key. Okay. Oh, and wonderful in the theater. <laughs> I'll continue with the girls and I'll go to the boys. Um, uh, uh, Kishori has been only here half a year. Kishori, where are you, Didi? Where are you doing? Kishori is sick. But you know Kishori, she's the daughter of Frank Kishori, and she's coming back, and we hope, next year to be with us. She's a wonderful devotee, and nice to have her around. It's a nice association for the children. And then there's uh, Jai Shri. Jai Shri Chan Clark. <laughs> she writes such beautiful poetry about your Gurudev. She's always talking about how much she loves her Gurudev. And she's so sweet to have her around. She's a wonderful devotee. Does her, her work very carefully and attentively. Jai Shri Ki And Gopa Malava, the, the other daughter of Mahi Bharta. Half of our school is Mahi Bharta's children. <laughs> we have a little plaque of Mahi Bharta in the other room. <laughs> He's supporting the school. Gopa <laughs> Malava is, is, loves to do Pajari work. Whenever we have big festivals at the temple, she decorates the deity so beautifully. She's a wonderful Pajari, and she does such nice service with Gorni Tai up at the temple. Gopa Malava Ki! <laughs> Kei Kanta, the daughter of Nanda Gopal and Mandu Vasini. She is a poet. I've never seen anyone write beautiful poetry like she writes whether any topic, but especially about her Gurudev. She keeps a book now of her poetry. Beautiful poetry. Ke Ganta Ki! Bring your poetry. Anyone who does poetry. 
Then there's Raghavata, also the daughter of Nanda Gopal Mandravasani. The, the glorious quality of Raghavata is she hears so well. She listens so well and responds to all the classes and all the questions so attentively. Very good. Raghavata Ki. We have morning program every day where we read from your classes. No, different grades. Oh yeah, there's, there's all different grades. All different grades. He's in high school. High school, yes. And then there's Damianti. Damianti has been to Kartik this year. And she's very inspired and very serious about her Krishna consciousness. And sets a very nice example for her character. She's always very... Very careful in her dealings and very serious. Very nice to meet Damayanti Ki. Any of the ladies that I left out? Please tell me if I did. I'm sorry. Radhupriya, I, I don't consider her a student, but she's come recently. She's the daughter also of Gopanandini by good fortune. <laughs> her teacher is Savita Didi. <laughs> she has very good teacher. <laughs> She's enrolled in your school. <laughs> this is also your school. Now for the boys, the older boys. I'll start with Nishinga Prabhu. Stand up, Nishinga. Very wonderful devotee. He, he is so qualified in academics, but more than that, I've never seen a person who has more energy than Shringa. <laughs> Once we were asking him to do, it was t he had just finished an hour of study and it was time for some Srimad Bhagavatam. And he came over to me and he said, I've just sat still for one hour. Do you think I can sit for another half hour? Impossible. <laughs> and he, he chants his rounds every day and he's always devoted. That's one thing I wanted to say about all these children, if I might. That, you know, children are children, but the glorious thing about them, when it comes to their Gurudev, they're so serious and they're so dedicated. They love their Gurudev so much. They're such wonderful children. All over the planet, people are not meeting real Guru, and they have so much Sukriti to be in the place where Gurudev has come to, at this age, meet a Mahabhaga and Rasik Vaishnava. So they are such wonderful children, and they're so devoted to you. Okay, then there's uh, Sundar Gopal Prabhu. Where are you, Sundar? Sundar Gopal's service attitude is exemplary. Whenever there's anything needed to be done, Sundar just does it. And not only that, he does it so humbly and so nicely. He's really careful about everything he does. And it's very exemplary. Sundar Gopal Prabhu. Rasik Mohan Prabhu. Rasik Mohan Prabhu is a very, very intelligent boy. He's had so much of your sangha, so you know him very well. He plays Vedanga wonderfully. And he's, a, he's very nice with the younger children. He's very, very, very encouraging and helpful. He but, oh, yes. They're learning. They're, right now, we're concentrating on learning the bhajans, the word for words to the bhajans, the shlokas from the bhajans. Sometimes this is Rasik Mohan Prabhu Ki. Then there's uh, Vasudam Prabhu. Vasudam Prabhu is the Madhu Mangal of the school. He is the funniest person I have ever met. And, but he's also very, very serious about his Krishna consciousness. He's the son of, of Mahalakshmi and Ramachandra Prabhu. Whenever there's a class and there's a philosophical question, Rasadam Prabhu is always ready to answer. He's a very serious devotee, and he wants to travel with you. Uh, uh, then we have Bhishma Prabhu, who was just initiated by you yesterday. Bhishma also, whenever there's work to be done or service to be done, he's always there to volunteer. And he works so hard and so carefully in doing it that... Uh, in the kitchen, he's always helping. Right now, we have a booth for the school. He's running it every day with Sundar Gopal. He, he has a very nice service attitude. Vishnu Prabhu Ki! Now we're getting into the high school boys. Oh, Madhukar Prabhu, please forgive me. Where are you? Oh, Madhukar Prabhu. This is the son of Rishabh Dev and, and this Chintadidi. Madhukar is a, such a gentle boy. He plays, he, he's, he never shows off his good qualities. But he plays privately, he'll play Madunga, and well, he'll, who is that playing? Or he'll, 
And he learns very quickly, he listens very carefully to the classes. Very nice and humble and gentle devotee. Madhukar, like his dad. Madhukar Prabhu Ki Um Now we're going into the high school. Nichananda, where are you, Prabhu? Nichananda. There he is in the back. A little late, but... but uh, <laughs> huh? Very intelligent boy. Very hard-working boy, and very serious about whatever responsibility he gets. And he has a very special taste for Kirtan and Bhajan. He's, uh, he's such a nice devotee. I, I personally uh, consider him my friend. Nichananda Jones Prabhu Ki! Next is Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu. He's the son of Chandrika Dini. He's, uh, he has brahminical qualities. He has very brahminical qualities. He, can, he has a capacity, even though he doesn't like to show it off, because in our teenage years we don't like to manifest our good qualities so much. But, but actually, he can't hide them. He can't hide them. Everybody who knows, who knows Krishna Chaitanya really likes him very much because of his gentleness and his ability to understand things. He has an intuitive ability to grasp things very, very seriously. Very special. Krishna Chaitanya Babuki. Then there's Kirtan Dari. Very well. Kirtan, one day I think, will be probably the, the best teacher in Badger. When Kirtan turns on his sensitivity and compassion, there's nobody like him. He can tune into a boy, and he can, he can help him with so much affection and kindness. And we're hoping that one day maybe he'll decide to do that. Kirtan Dari Ki! Then there's Bhima, also the son. Uh, Balaram. Balaram Prabhu, this is your disciple, stand up. He's recently come to our school, and he is the most enthusiastic devotee on Harinam I have ever seen. He's leaping and jumping, and <laughs> very intelligent boy also. Balaram Prabhu Ki. Where is Shravan? Shravan Dhauri. He'll be leaving us this year to go back to Vrindavan, and it's been such a pleasure to have him. He's been trained by, by you and by Premananda Prabhu, and he's been such a good example to have in our school, in his Krishna consciousness. Shravandari Ki! Is there anyone I've left out? Very good. Very good. Thank you, Shuk. Especially, I want to give. Oh, uh, and, uh, thank. blessings.
you are not a prison like permanent here. I want that you should gradually develop your Krishna consciousness up to Braja Prema. I want that you should all have that way. That quickly we will have to return to or abort that it will down in the lotus feet of Radha Krishna my heart is blessing to you. I know, I am very happy. My Guru Dev and Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhar Saraswati Kusha also this idea. Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami also. They wanted to establish a very good ideal school. I don't want that. This school should be uh, with no moral. I want that moral. High class of Charitra, everything. Sometimes I used to become hopeless, seeing the conditions, very wretched conditions of schools established by Swamiji. Court cases are going on. I don't want that court case to also be. I saw that all the among all the students, Adhikta, most people, as I have become demons, showing their fathers, no respect for any devotees, even not for their mothers, and they become godliness, no god. Desperate dhakars and taking so much work, so many things, and doing nonsense. They can do anything. I want that you should be pure devotee. Because your guru, your guru, shiksha, teacher of very high class, is a good character of pure devotee. Having love and affection for you. So I want that this school should be ideal and people will also think that, oh, he has come from this school and very high class of all, all the devotees will try to send their children to this school. I want this. And now so many children are coming from various parts, even from Australia, or they want to send their children here from England, from here and there. South America. South America also. So I want that this is could be more ideal. First, the teacher should be ideal like Prabhu. And then everything will be okay. Go, Prama. Recite one slow. Go,
That's it. Okay. The person going through the different bodies and even at death, if they're absorbed in spiritual life, Krishna consciousness, they won't be affected by it. Another student. All right. Najayate um, Vyate. Prampadeep. Stand up for me. Najayate Vyate Vakarashin. Mayam Bhutta Birth after birth, um, Gurudev's 